Rift Wizard is an early access roguelike where you play as a wizard. There's a good variety of spells available, including some summoning spells. You've got to defeat 24 levels of the dungeon, and although that doesn't sound like many, the game is very brutal and unforgiving. It's one of those games where you have to do everything perfectly, and one mistake can cost you the entire game. How it works is on each level there's portals that constantly summon new enemies for you to fight. The problem is, your resources are incredibly finite, so you really need to be shutting these portals down as quickly and efficiently as possible, otherwise you'll waste too many resources and perish. As you complete the levels, you can gather spell points, which are these blue orbs, which can then be spent to purchase and upgrade spells, as well as acquire skills. The dark category of spells is where the necromancy is to be had. There's a lot of different spells, but I'll just be mentioning the ones that are related to necromancy and minions. For necromancy, you want to start the game off with the death bolt spell. This spell will turn anything it kills into a skeleton minion. The minion is unfortunately on a timer, but it usually lasts long enough to justify its existence. If the creature that dies was a flying unit in life, then you get a flying skeleton. Ghost Ball is the next necromancy spell, and it deals dark damage at the target, as well as summons a bunch of ghosts on the empty tiles around it. Ghosts are weak, with only 4 hit points, but they have immunity to physical damage and resistance to dark damage. They can blink around and deal one dark damage with their attacks. Unfortunately, they're on a 14 turn timer. Suspend Mortality allows an allied unit to reincarnate on death. This effect lasts for 40 turns. The Restless Dead has a duration of 15 turns, and while active, enemies get resurrected as skeletons whenever they die. None of the undead from spells appear to be permanent, only timed. However, it is possible to get some permanent minions via skills. Skills appear to be passive bonuses, and most of them are very good. If you have 6 spell points to spend and have also unlocked a dark spell and a conjuration spell, you can unlock the Bone Guard skill. This is a passive skill that spawns 4 Bone Knights whenever you enter a new level. The Bone Knights are permanent and fight until destroyed. They have 40 hit points and an attack that deals 9 dark damage as well as leeches two hit points away from the target. As far as I can tell, these Bone Knights are the only permanent undead minions you can have, and everything else is temporary. The other skill that spawns undead is called Ghost Fire, and whenever an enemy takes both fire damage and dark damage in the same turn, a flaming ghost will appear. Flaming ghosts look fiery and have 100 fire and 100 dark resistance. They can blink around like standard ghosts, but their attack is much better. They have a fiery ranged attack that deals 7 fire damage. They expire after 10 turns. The game is getting an 8 out of 10 from me for its mini mechanics. The minions are incredibly useful and also extremely diverse. There's a lot more variety here than most games offer. The downsides are that the timers keep your minion count low at all times and there aren't many ways to get permanent minions. Now while it might technically be possible to get 10 permanent minions somehow, it may not be practically possible. So given that you're going to be spending a lot of time with no permanent minions, or very few of them, I think it's fair to score somewhere in the middle. In any case, I count 4 permanent bone knights, so this is a given. To finish this video off, I'm going to put up a collage of all the minion spells and skills, so you can see the truly staggering variety of minions on offer. The game encourages you to mix it up too. There's skills that do cool stuff like buff your undead with lightning if you go for lightning spells, or others that offer bonuses for summoners who summon demons, undead, and angels together. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been informative. Maybe now you've got a new necromancy game you'd like to play, or perhaps you can cross this off the list of potential games if it doesn't fit your style at all. I've got more videos on necromancy stuff coming soon.